Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Reeti and I am back with another lecture in the DBMS series. So in the last lecture, we learned about scaling of databases. In this particular video, we would be learning about role-based access control. So without any further ado, let's get started. So as the name suggests, role-based access control. So whenever we give the control to any user based on their role for our database system, we use this role-based access control mechanism. Now role-based access control is a security system that controls that who can access a database or system based on their role in the organization. So based on the specific role in a given organization, we provide some access control to the users. Now consider that there is a team which is working on making ID cards for the employees. Now for that, they will need the details of the employees like first name, last name and different things. So we provide an access to the database to this particular team. Now consider that this particular team is doing some read operations on the database. That is okay because they need some user details. But consider if this particular team is doing some write access or doing some modification in the database. That is not allowed because this is a security breach. So for that particular reason only we provide some access. So instead of giving permissions directly to each user, the system creates role with the specific permission and user are assigned according to these roles. Now for example, a database administrator might create roles like DB read for reading the data and db write for modifying the data. Only people with the right role can read and change the information. So we'll provide a db read to this particular team so that it can read the details which is present in our database, but we won't be providing access for the db write. Now what is role? So it is basically a set of permission which is associated with a job function. Example, there could be admin, there could be a manager, there could be a developer in different organization. So according to their job function, we provide a different role to different users. Now coming to the permissions. So these are the rights that are granted to perform certain actions such as read operation, write operation, delete operation. So whenever we provide some rights to certain users to perform some certain actions like read operation, write operation, delete operation, we give them permissions. Now coming to users, so these are the individuals who are assigned one or more roles. Now coming to the advantages, so it makes it easier to manage permissions, especially in big systems. So whenever we want to manage permissions, especially in bigger systems or bigger MNCs, we can use RBAC. Now coming to the next pointer, it lowers the risk of misuse by making sure users only have access to what they need for their role. So if there are two users, user 1 and user 2, if I've given the access for DB read, user 1 can only perform read operations if I have given the user to as db read as well as db write, it can go ahead and do some modification as well as read the data. So according to the role they are able to use the data, they can't go ahead and misuse any data. Now coming to the third pointer that is it improves the security and help keep rules consistent across the system. So it helps us to increase the system security. So this was all about role based access control in this particular video. I hope you like this video. So if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're someone who is new to my channel can go ahead and watch out the tech content first. And if you find it useful, can go ahead and subscribe also if you have not followed me on my social media handles you can go ahead and follow the links are in the description till then take care keep learning keep growing keep smiling bye all